the rescue mission, I wouldn't mm -hmm. have known. I would just be like, cool, gold Nikes, you know, like throw them in the throw thing. Them in the bin. I would have no idea <laughs> that they were, I'm, I'm, someone was savvy apparently and knew that they were worth something. Yes, and said, wait a minute, everybody, just make sure that you protect the hose yeah. for sure. It's like the golden ticket, like <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Quite yes. literally, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, well, that's pretty behind you. What a yeah. nice view we're, we're seeing after all that rain. You know, kind of winning the lottery for us here across the Pacific Northwest. If you're not lucky enough to find some of your own gold shoes, at least we get that golden sunshine raining down over much of the Pacific Northwest today as we are cloud free, but you'll notice just a little bit of that cloud coverage still racing along the mid layers of our hillsides there off to the east as visibility is on the clear side after seeing some patchy fog for the start of the day this morning, giving us some great views out towards the Ridgefield area. There you go, Mount Adams and Mount St. Helens there off in the distance as Portland currently sits at about 52 degrees with clear skies and we'll hover into the low to mid 50s for the afternoon noon hours before we start to slide back into the upper 40s closer to sunset but poise it breezy out there seeing our gusts near about 30 35 miles per hour out of the east as we move our way through the rest of this evening and to the overnight hours we will be keeping those breezy skies overhead but with an east wind sometimes we've got to talk about cooler temperatures but east of the gorge that's where we are seeing those daytime current temperatures at about the mid 40s so not much of a difference compared to the valley out towards the central regions of the Beaver State, and that means our temperatures are really going to stabilize into the low 50s as the cloud coverage continues to hang out out east. But for the I-5 quarter, the coast, the Cascades getting in on that plentiful sunshine, a nice change of pace. It's been a while since we have seen a dry day. So many days that it's actually managed to hit 12 back on November 29th of this year. That's when we saw our last dry day. And you can see we have seen the plentiful rain over the past several days. With the exception of the 8th, that's where we didn't pick up any accumulative rain. But it did rain just about a trace or so. So that's why that 12 days has amounted to so much as the yearly rainfall amounts have seen a surplus of over a half inch. That's great, especially when we time ourselves back to January 1st. And this month, typically our wettest month of the year, sitting above average by almost uh, five inches or so as we continue to see that rack itself up into the higher than normal precip amounts. Now for the fifth night of Hanukkah, or I should say the sixth night, that's about 47 degrees is where we expect to fall to by about sunset. As a ridge of high pressure continues to build over the western half of the country, you'll notice this trough trying to push its way back into our area but not it's succeeding at that as the ridge continues to build over much of the western half of the country. That's going to be bringing dry skies and mild temperatures for our area all the way through the week's end. That's where normal than average temperatures are expected over the next six to 10 days. And that does come with near normal precip amounts, which really just kind of means on again, off again, rain showers. And we've already been so wet that we are not expecting to see a surplus of the moisture like what we saw last week with two atmospheric rivers. But the cloud coverage, it does start to increase tonight. That will take us through much of the day tomorrow. So soak up the sunshine while it lasts because that is not in the cards for us as we work our way into Wednesday. No rain accumulation is expected until we get to Thursday. That's when the rain gauges will start to fill up once again, nearing about a tenth of an inch. Today, expecting a daytime high of about 53. It will be breezy out there with those gusts nearing about 30 to 35 miles per hour. The winds taper back to about 25 mile per hour gust tonight. As we fall back into the low 40s, the clouds, they'll start to increase through the overnight hours into your Wednesday. And then for Thursday, that's our next chance to just see a few light rain showers. Nothing in comparison to what we saw last week as we dry out our skies and return the sunshine just in time for the weekend. I mean, it definitely feels warmer than it has in years past. Yes, yes. we're sitting above average by about five degrees or so, so we should be hovering right around 47. Mm -hmm. uh, not the case this week. Okay, all right. Enjoy it while you can, I guess. Yeah. We'll be right back with one more check on your forecast. Stick around.